Today's daily rehab is about helping you with hip hinging and deadlifting. Now this is really important for people who are returning from a back injury and they're trying to get into that hip hinging and deadlifting position and movement and I've got a few tips for you. Now it involves bands, so you're gonna to have to get yourself some power bands. Now these are exactly the same strength, they're just different colors. With the power bands, one is gonna be doing the deadlifting or the load movement downwards, one is gonna be doing the horizontal movement. So you've got a band going horizontal and a band going vertical. Sounds confusing, but I'll show you what I mean. When people are trying to go into the deadlift, following back injuries, following back pain, they're trying to get into this movement to help them with that posterior chain strength. That's so important to get that glutes and hammies and back all connected together to help them with the lift. They start running into problems about where to put their lumbar spine, how to sort of sit back properly. They start turning into a bit of a squat. It all goes a bit pear-shaped. So the first thing we get doing, people doing is when they are hinging, they might start off with a hinge on a wall where they're learning how to sort of hinge backwards and come forward. But we need some resistance to help fire the glute, fire the hamstring, and teach them to lift with their legs and stabilize with their back. Not the other way around, not to sort of lift with their back, okay? So one band around a pole, and you've probably seen this one before, but we're gonna combine these two together to help both movement patterns. So the hip hinge pattern and the actual lift. Step into that one, okay? And this one is going to be the resistance for your hip hinge, okay? This part here, get this up to height. So when you look sort of straight on, this band is sitting right below the ASIS, so that two bony points in the front of your pelvis, sit that right below, okay? That's basically where you're gonna bend, when the hip joint, all right? So the good thing about having it there is it gives you some feedback of where do I have to bend, for one. The second thing you've gotta do is be far enough away that there's enough resistance there to create that sort of activation at the back of where your glutes are and your hammies but so not so much that you have to lean forward to hold yourself up. So you've got to have enough sort of strength here to keep yourself upright. So that's your hinge part. So if you imagine when people learn how to deadlift and learn how to hip hinge, they think about their hips going backwards like a jaw, so sort of horizontal, not down like a squat, okay? And so that gives you enough sort of feedback to say, okay, I'm gonna get pulled backwards when I go into my hinge, and that will give you an opportunity to work out where does my lower back need to be in that neutral spine. So not super arched, definitely not rounded, but it gives you an opportunity to go, okay, that's where I need to be. At the same time, here's the tension, right? So I've got constant tension going on here to help me keep active through my hammies and my glute, but I can play around with my back position. All right, so that's really helpful. I can just sort of be sustained in that position or suspended there. And then when I come up, instead of like what people tend to do after back injury, they tend to sort of lift their back and they start extending through their back. So from there, you're just gonna then stretch the band. All right, so having the band there gives a one feedback drag, keeps the tension on through the back of the legs so you can play around with the position of your pelvis and then gives you that resistance to switch on your glutes. All right? So at this point you're doing a hip extension, not a back extension. Now, when you're doing deadlifts, what I would do to transition you into weighted loaded deadlifts, keep this band on. All right? It's guiding you through that movement, so it's helping you with the hinging part. Now this band is a load that's graduated to help you with the strengthening load through that entire posterior chain from your back down through to your hamstrings. So with this one, I would then use that as a load. So get that on there, come around, down, pretend it's a deadlift bar, and up into that position. So now, this gets a bit tricky, so you have to practice this a little bit. From this position here, I've got a vertical load. So when I come forward, that vertical load is going straight into my lower back to strengthen it, but it's kind. As I go down, it gets less and less and less. So I'm in that position there where I'm the most vulnerable. I can still play, look at that, I can play around with my lower back position, nice and happy. And then when I come up, I'm stretching the band in the front. I'm stretching the band at the back. 
So when I come to this position, I'm fully locked and loaded up in that lower back, but it's happy, okay? Of course, your core's on at that point, but things to remember, when you come down, think of that loading through that posterior chain and that guidance of movement. They are the two things that you need to get right. Get the load correct, get some load into the lower back and the posterior chain, but get your form and position correct. And the two bands are gonna help you with all that activation. So give that a shot. That'll get you through trying to go from hinging and getting that movement correct to then actually lifting a weight off the floor or lifting a bar off the floor. So give those two a shot. See you next time.